This episode is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel. Looking at the Hubble Deep Field images for the first time is truly a profound experience. It feels like looking at the most important image humanity had ever taken. For the first time, you get a real feeling for just how immense the universe actually is. It's absolutely mind-blowing if you stop to think about it, that by looking at a patch of sky that appears to have nothing in it, then you stare at it long enough, you see an image full of galaxies, not just stars. Objects in this image are up to 13 billion light years from Earth, and it reveals a comprehensive timeline for the universe. Between September 2003 and January 2004, Hubble looked at a seemingly empty patch of sky inside the constellation Fornax, only a tenth of the size of the full moon. It came back with a stunning picture containing over 10,000 galaxies, and pretty much all of them are galaxies containing thousands, millions, or billions of stars. This means that the image reveals trillions upon trillions of stars. Moreover, some of the galaxies are mature, but others are brand new, being only 600 million years old. Every speck of light in this picture is a whole galaxy, or there are lots of galaxies here, or that's cool, are a few of the common reactions to this spectacular image. It is a rather stunning picture. So where exactly did the Hubble look to take the deep field images? Here is a photo of the region of the sky I referred to in the video. As you can see, the area in the L-shaped outline is devoid of all stars. This was done on purpose. Astronomers didn't want any stars from the Milky Way galaxy to get in the way, so they selected this region. It's important to realize that dedicating so much Hubble telescope time to this little project was a risky move. Time on this telescope is expensive, with very long waiting lists of astronomers who want to use it. It was risky because no one knew what they were going to see if they did this. Taking the risk paid off in a huge way. The irregular shape of the area outlined above corresponds to the fact that the complete Hubble deep field image was pieced together from three individual images taken with the telescope pointed in adjacent areas of the sky. The detector on the Hubble Space Telescope employs a really old CCD that is 800 by 800 pixels square. To cover more area, they took many sets of images and moved the telescope around as they did so. Then they stitched them together to make the final image. To take the ultra-deep field, the Hubble Space Telescope looked in the direction of Orion, in the constellation Fornax. They also imaged using both cameras for a little longer, over 11 days this time, to produce the ultra-deep field. That image represents the farthest we've ever seen into the universe. The Hubble ultra-deep field is by far the most important image ever taken in the history of astronomy. This episode is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel. Subscribe to our channel and enjoy free weekly universe episodes.